So uh, while the design of explosive reactive armour, also known as ERA, originally dates back to the 1970s and comprises a backing armour tile, an explosive filler and a flyer plate, uh, recent developments include the Russian Malachite system, which uses a pre-warning trigger mechanism to arm the projectile, arm the explosive, before the projectile hits the flyer plate, improving accuracy and uh, efficiency. Other developments include the US Abrams reactive armour tile, version 1 and version 2, also known as M19 and M32 respectively. These are flat and curved tile pieces and they have been put on the M1A2 main battle tank system enhancement package version 2, deployed to Europe. Other developments include the Ukrainian duplet system, uh, which comprises a series of crescent-shaped shaped charges, which are used to destroy the projectile in flight with improved accuracy and efficiency. So non-explosive reactive armour comes in two forms. Uh, the first one is self-limiting explosive reactive armour. So this is the same as ERA, but it uses a lot less explosive filler. Um, the, the process by which it works is the same as baseline ERA. However, what it does is it uses uh, far less explosive to reduce the, um, the explosive effect, to minimise collateral damage and improve multi-hit capability. However, it is far less efficient than baseline ERA. The second is non-explosive reactive armour. And this uses different types of um, reactive elements in place of the explosive. These could include things like oxidizers and various fuels. Um, and this creates a bulge between two armour plates acting in the same way as ERA. And this effect can be enhanced by using micro balloons full of uh, different materials such as ceramics, plastics and glass. So electric armour comprises two metal plates which are electrified connected to a power source. So effectively they act as electrodes. The way that this works and provides a protective survivability effect is that when a metal projectile penetrates the outer uh, layer, the first electrode, and impacts on the second, it closes the circuit and allows a massive amount of power and energy to be dumped into the projectile. This, this destroys the projectile or offsets its uh, kinetic energy penetrative effects sufficiently to um, mitigate its uh, destructive impact. So there are two principal ways in which this is taking place. The first is a move to try and create transparent ERA. Uh, this is principally through the use of innov innovative materials, such as uh, nano-reactive materials, such as uh, nanotube organic scaffolds. Um, the second is to, as a move to create uh, reduced weight ERA. Principally, this is through the uh, reduction of metal and using other materials such as carbon fibre. Uh, for example, this is used in the German composite lightweight adaptable reactive armour, otherwise known as Clara. This reduces the fragmentary effects of, uh, of metal and therefore reduces the uh, collateral damage impact.